Hey everyone, this is Tommy from Table Flip Games and welcome to the third issue of the Cashville Overflow, the video series dedicated to updates all about sure footing. First up, it's been a couple of months since the last update. Sorry about that. I know you secretly missed the sound of my voice, although if you follow the AI and Games channel, which I'm also posting this video to, you'll hear my voice a couple of times a month. But anyway, we've all been busy at Table Flip Games on a bunch of things, and one of the things that we have been doing that I can talk about is working on stability updates, some new content, and working away on porting sure footing to other platforms. Back in June, we pushed version 1.0.3, which included a bunch of UI improvements, improved performance, the PCG debug mode, but also a beta build of the cooperative multiplayer. This week sees the launch of version 1.0.4, which completes the cooperative multiplayer experience, improvements to core gameplay for both single and multiplayer, UI polish, and some other goodies along the way. So let's walk through some of the biggest changes. Alrighty, first up, let's talk about multiplayer. Multiplayer has had a bunch of TLC in the last couple of months, with the versus multiplayer getting a bunch of balance tweaks and improvements, plus the HUD has also been improved to make it a little clearer for identifying which UI is for which player, as well as a ping feature that lets you quickly check where you are in the game if you get all confused. But on top of all that stuff, we also added in the new cooperative multiplayer. In the last update, we pushed out the first mode in beta, the cooperative survival mode, in which you have to make sure you stick together and run as far as you can while Dave is hot on your tail. We've since improved the UI for this mode so you can see your active score multiplier, as well as add in a new revival feature, where if one of your team dies and you survive long enough, a gold crate will appear that, when smashed, will respawn one of your deleted teammates. But of course, we're not making it super easy for you, you gotta make sure you hit the crate, otherwise the respawn won't happen or you could just ignore it if you're not a team player or just want to wind up your friend next to you. Also in this build, we've added another co-op mode where you have to collect coins, or MIPS as we call them, and we have a set you a target to collect in the time that you have left. In addition to this, we've added online leaderboards for two, three, and four player co-op in both distance survival and MIP target collection, that way you can see how well you stack up against other players all across the world. And while we've just launched this, we're still looking to improve overall balance and any bugs that crop up, so if you do find any weird things that you experience, please do tell us over in the developer forums on the likes of Itch.io and Steam. But hey, just because the multiplayer was getting a lot of love doesn't mean single player misses out. First up, the single player UI gets a little bit of love, we tidied up the HUD a little bit, polished the power up charge bars, but also added in a new quick start mode in survival. If you've played survival already, the game will remember what power-ups you used the last time around. Next time you go in, all you have to do is use the quick start option on character select to boot up with that chosen power-up loadout. Ideal if you have a particular loadout you like, but want to change character or skin. Oh hey, we also added controller rumble support because it's 2005 and we figured that might be cool for some folk. Last but not least, we tidied up a bunch of bugs that cropped up in the last build that slipped past us. This includes fixing the sprint control and game pads, as well as improving the left stick controls which were super weird and messed up. Plus that loading icon was broken too, and I know Matt spent like, I don't know, 45 minutes making that loading icon and while I fixed it now, I know he was secretly upset about it and really resented me for breaking it in the first place. We're still tidying up some background systems to run more smoothly, which is proving handy for porting to other platforms, but we're still adding in new content over the coming months towards the end of the year. While we're still polishing the co-op multiplayer, we're still going to be adding in two new multiplayer modes before the end of the year, but in addition to this, we're pushing new single player content with new challenge modes that will include big MIP bonuses and even some exclusive skins very soon. I'm looking forward to getting it out there, I mean, I'm working real hard on it just now and I just kind of want a sense of gratification, you know? Also, while we're here, if you're looking at this game and thinking, oh why, this looks wonderful, I wonder how this works, well, you're in luck. Since over on my other YouTube channel, AI and Games, I made a complete case study explaining how the game builds levels while you play it. You should check it out, it's pretty fun, I think. Alright, I'm gonna get back to work. You head on over to Steam right now, go and download the update, or buy the game if you haven't, go on, you know you wanna. Keep running, and we'll see you in the next update real soon.